everyone. Today we are going to be talking about just the creation story and you can find that in Genesis 1 and 2. Now I also want to just let you know I want to make this more of a vloggy type channel because you already have enough people talking at you whether it's a pastor or a teacher or your parents, or the news. Like, I just kind of want to explain the Bible, just tell you the stories, just like if you were here with me, and you can get to know me, and more importantly, you can get to know the Bible, because that's why I'm here. That's all I really care about. Like, I want you to know the Bible. Whether or not you believe it, I just want you to know what the Bible says so that you can make an informed decision for yourself. Oh, before I get started, I just have to apologize for the noise. Apparently, all of my neighbors think that they're Jesus and they're all running circular saws over here. Like, okay, you're not a carpenter and you've been working on your deck for four months. Like, when can I get a reprieve? Anyway, let's just jump into the creation story. As you've noticed, the crown and pink and glitter everything because that's that's what I'm about. So when else am I going to get to wear this flower crown, to be honest? Let's just jump into the creation story. So we have in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Then the Holy Spirit's over the face of the deep. And now we are to Genesis 1-3. And then God said, let there be light. Now, whenever you have like God said or the word of God, that is in reference to Jesus. John 1, 1 says, in the beginning, there was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning and through all things were made and without him, nothing was made that has been made. So without the word or without Jesus, none of this would even exist. So right from the jump, Genesis 1, 1 through 1, 3, we have Elohim, which is a plural, and we have God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, all within the three first verses of the Bible, right on the scene, all together at creation. So they're not just like one entity passing through different phases or... They're not shades of a different person. Like they are distinct beings, but they are all one God. A peel is not the same as a flesh and flesh is not the same as a core, but they all make up one apple. God, the father, God, the son, God, the Holy Spirit. They all have distinct purposes, distinct functions, but they all make up one God. So we have the Holy Spirit, Ruach Elohim, over the waters. We have God the Father doing his thing and then we have Jesus in the creation. So he spoke into motion, let there be light and there was light. And I'm not going to go through every single verse because this is a pretty straightforward story. You can just follow along in Genesis 1, read it for yourself. He created the trees and shrubs on day three. So we know that we're going to get to it in the future, but I haven't introduced it yet. So day three, we have uh, plants. So we know the tree of knowledge of good and evil is in the garden already. Now, um, we have the plants and animals that show up on the scene. God formed those from the dust of the earth. And then God says, let us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, make man in our Father, Son, and Holy Spirit image. God forms Adam from the dust of the earth and into his nostrils he breathes the breath of life, also known as the Holy Spirit, that breath, and that is what makes Adam come alive. The Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit coming upon him is what makes man just a pile of dirt, versus a functioning human being in the image of God. Now, what does it mean, image of God? It doesn't mean that Adam was a God. It means he's in the image of God. So you have a glove 
and it's in the image of a hand. It fits on a hand. A glove is not a hand, but it's in the same shape as a hand. Now, I hope that explains some of what happened between Genesis 1-1, God created the earth, then Lucifer messed it all up, then he's having to redo his whole creation again, up until the point where Adam is created. Now, this was getting to be a super long video, and I decided I needed to break it up into two videos. So the next video, we're going to be getting into Adam getting his first job and getting wifed up and how the way God has it set up for Adam is kind of the way that you should follow if you want to, you know, grow up, be an adult, get married, do your thing. So stay tuned. That next video will be on Friday and I will see you later. Bye.